Sponsored by Battle Tribe. For awesome stickers, patches, t-shirts, art, and more, check out our Etsy store, Battle Tribe. Hey everybody, it's Matt Rendar. I just want to do a quick uh, review of these awesome operators from Black Powder Red Earth. This is the Cold Harbor Crisis Troop Scorch Unit. Ten models. You got an advisor, a light machine gunner, four recce soldiers and four assaulters these uh they came you gotta check them out black powder red earth 28 awesome miniatures so i put them together i primed them black to the zenith highlight of uh gray and then dry brushed them white so started to get in there with some contrast you know i could see i put some red on them great great miniatures i believe that's one of the recce uh troops so in contrast uh, from games workshop blood angels red one in there and um got after it you can see my uh, work area is pretty uh, pretty messy so after a good shake of the uh, the red contrast paint i'm gonna get in there i have to do this shirt so take a small small sable brush and uh, start getting after it. Nice and um, small controlled brush strokes. Trying, trying to, the neater you are, the, the sharper and the better it will look. So I'm letting all that paint fill into the resource, uh, resources, <laughs> recesses, and uh, it would automatically shadows and highlights. Once again, I love how the, the red pops. It really uh, catches your eye and sets these uh, miniatures apart from uh, other, other companies, so really cool. A lot of fun to paint, but with these contrasts, you can block in f colors very quickly and uh, get really cool results. And then if you want, you later go, buy, go back with um, you know, layer paints and you can raise the highlights or deepen the shadows. So gives you a good base to work off of and also get some tabletop ready. Big fan of the contrast. So, got the reds all in with the contrast paint. Some of the guys I did different color t-shirts, but now I'm going in for their um, the blue jeans. A lot of the guys in the graphic novel wear blue jeans with their kit. So I used the uh, Games Workshop Ultramarines uh, blue. One in there with the contrast, putting it in, layering it in. It's great because I automatically have the shadows and the highlights from the black primer and the, the dusting of the gray primer and then with a white dry brush on top. So you're automatically getting those shadows and highlights that give, make the figure pop. Already you can see how it's popping with the blue. The blue and the red really sets these guys apart from other modern miniatures. Love this uh, universe. On to the next. Next, they wear black multicam and black equipment, rifles and everything. So I use the um, black contrast paint. Just went in there really nice and neat. 
So one of the big tips is just try to keep your paint neat. Once again, love these contrast paints, just putting it in there and they automatically give that um, shadow and highlights as the paint recedes into all the details. So went through. You can see one of the operators in the back, I did a green t-shirt on. I did, I believe two green t-shirts. I did one guy with a blue shirt just to change it up. But coming out very nicely, great highly detailed figures, which helps with the contrast paints. Now I'm using a uh, dark gray wash for the sneakers, the boots, and the bakalava and different types of little equipment that I missed with the black. Just getting in there. Now for the skin, I went in and I uh, repainted white. So, because I'm gonna do contrast paints and I want the skins to be kind of kind of light skinned. So I'm going back and uh, hitting all the, um, anything with flesh, so pretty much just the bare arms. And I also did the sunglasses because I'm gonna do um, a red wash on that. So I'm going two thin coats of uh, white. Now I'm gonna go in with various uh, flesh washes and um, I'm using Gilliman Flesh Contrast as well as some other ones and go straight over the white and let the contrast work its magic. I'm just gonna get some layered and you can see instantly it's starting to work. Really cool. You can see the results. This one's dried previously, really cool. Coming together. Going back to the red for the uh, sunglasses. In the comics, the night vision goggles and the uh, sunglasses are usually red and have red tints. So I'm going to go back and do it. Gently dabbing the colors in, getting those NVG lenses as well as the sunglasses. Now using a, a light green wash for the chem lights, chem sticks that they have on their belt. Just going in and gently dotting them in. You can see they look pretty cool. Now we're gonna take a dark gray and we're gonna do edge highlighting on the helmet, equipment, vest, rifle, etc. Just get just get in there nice and neat. The tidier you are, the better it's gonna look. Nice and slow. Yeah. Just a little bit of paint. Just go in there and just tap it in. 
little piece of Velcro, the edge of the management goggles, the edge of the rifle. Just go in there and just gently hit those highlights. slow brush strokes just hitting not too much not too little just hitting all the tops where this, the light would hit and cast that highlight it just really adds and gives that more three-dimensional look to your paint job these are all simple things yeah you bring it to a tabletop standard Looking good. Really happy with the results. Almost done. Now I'm gonna use this yellow contrast paint to go over the the goggle highlights, the sunglasses, the red, to kind of just tone it down and give it a little bit of a a yellowish look. Just really just tap it in just a little bit. It's gonna make it all pop, make all the colors blend together on the sunglasses and the goggles. Just continue to tap that yellow contrast paint in. Looking good. One of the last steps, we're gonna use some secret weapons. Unfortunately, they're not around anymore, but they're terracotta red earth pigment powders. So black powder, red earth. We gotta put some red earth on these bases. The bases were dry brushed with a brown and a bone color. So now we're gonna take this pigment and really get a dirty brush and just Stick it in there. Just put heavily push the pigments into um, your base. Let it get up on the guys a little bit. You can, you can let it get on the shoe, the boots, and the, the pants a little bit. Adding more weathering to it, but it looks really cool. Just get it in there really good, and then you're gonna get the access off. You can hit it over the container. There's no, numerous companies that sell pigment powders. You just got to find the right one. Just tap some more into it. Almost done. Last, we're gonna use some Abaddon Black Base from Games Workshop. We're gonna do paint the edge of the base, frame it out. So this gives it like a sharp look. 
I usually do colors that match the terrain, but for this skirmish game, I kind of want them um, singled out. But the black gives it a nice crisp, crisp look. Frames your miniature, and makes the painting style standard look a little higher. Nice and simple control, just go back. You might have to do two coats once it dries. If it's transparent, just go back and do the same thing over again. Get that nice look. I hope these steps help you get a bang out a squad of these guys very quickly and get them to a nice tabletop standard. So, very simple. Here's ones that, that is dry. Look at that. Sharp. They have a finished... Scorched Earth Operator.